Minister General Bergman. Uh, good afternoon, all. Um, the title of this hearing, Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion, Impact to the Department of Defense and the Armed Services. Bottom line is readiness. Are we ready to fight? There's only one reason for the military, and that's to protect and defend our citizens and our country. Other than that, we don't need one. So, I'd like to cut, this is going to be real easy. This is going to be mul not even multiple choice. It's going to be, the answers are going to be positive or negative, okay? And what I'd like to do is, here's the basic question. Does DEI affect, and I'm going to read things here, and we're going to start with you, Mr. Cisneros, and Mr. Cisneros, and say positively or negatively. For example, does DEI as it exists today in the Department of Defense affect recruiting, positive or negative? Positive. 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 Congressman, we need to recruit uh, from all of America and make sure we get the talent. Positive or negative? Very positive, sir. Okay, so why haven't we made, why haven't we made our numbers? Well, Congressman, the, as you look at the data. So it right, takes a while to, to take, so what you're saying is your programs will take effect over time? Well, what I'm Do telling you that? right now is there's a, not a propensity to serve right now within the general population. And, uh, and, you, DEI, is you going, and DEI is going to solve that? I think DEI is going to give us a larger pool to prove from. And now it's not just DEI of, of like as we said, by, by sexuality, race. I don't want to. Um, I got some more questions. It is. A, a, it I, is I would beg. I will, I will look well. forward to the numbers when we see September 30th, whether we hit our numbers or not on recruiting, to see the effects. Good programs. And there's a lot of good ideas in DOD. But they're not evaluated over time, and we have too many programs that are still on the books. I'm not going to start naming them. You know, you've seen them in your departments that we need to stop doing. The hardest thing we have to do sometimes is stop doing something that isn't working. Okay, retention, positive or negative? Positive. 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 Definitely positive. Okay, promotion. Promotion, a positive. 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 Congressman, of course, it's, a, it's always a good positive thing. Positive or negative? It's always a positive thing when we okay. have a more diverse. Command thing. selection. Positive. 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 Okay. The point is, annually, we look at everything from command selection rates to promotion rates to retention rates, and the one I didn't ask was family readiness and family preparedness because, to your point, it'll, when people leave the service, leave active service, they leave usually for a reason. And one of those reasons in today's military is the effect on the family, the overall, and that may be a reason to leave. But the reason I wanted to ask you all those questions is that we're going to have this same question next year. I'm going to ask it exactly the same way. And what I expect to, when you say positive, I want to see numbers. OK? But most importantly, what I'm concerned about is command selection and command environment. Because when we fight, we deploy our units all over the world. And at that point, you don't have the opportunity to go back to a program or a class that you went to in the Pentagon or wherever your base was before you deployed. You are in the fight, and if you don't have a unit that believes in itself, and it believes in itself because of its commanding officer and its, and its senior enlisted, there is no other reason, there is no other reason that that unit will be successful. And being successful means you accomplish the mission and you bring people home. So having said that, I look at this as teeing it up to make sure that next year when we have this hearing, we want to see st substantial numbers that show that you said was positive, was in fact positive, and not just posturing. And with that, I yield back. 